Welcome to the Transportation Engineering Lab. In this video, demonstration of parking studies as a part of the engineering Welcome to the Transportation Engineering Laboratory. So in this experiment, let us have a study on the different types of parking. So this is an experiment included in the Transportation Engineering Lab. So this is one of the type of the parking studies. So let's start the study. So we have two types of parking, mainly on street and off street. So in the on street, we have the vehicles are parked on the sides of the street itself. And this is usually controlled by government agencies. And as per Indian Road Congress, the standard dimensions of car is taken as 5 to 2.5 meters. And for the truck, it is 3.75 into 7.5 meters. So this is regarding on street parking. So in the on street parking, these are this is a type of a parking where where the vehicles are passed in the street or beside the street wherever and this is solely taken by the government agencies. And the first type in on street parking is parallel parking. So the vehicles are parked along the length of the road. Most safest parking from the accident perspective and this produces least obstruction to the ongoing traffic on the road since least road width is used. So we can demonstrate that this is a type of parallel parking. So the vehicles are parked like this as shown in the figure and the total length is calculated by n divided by 5.9 where n is the total number of vehicles parked. So coming to the second type of parking that is 30 degrees parking. So as shown in the figure, the vehicles are passed at 30 degrees to each other. Actually they will be parallel but it is 30 degrees to the pavement. So this is AB is equal to OB sin 30 degrees. BC, CD and we have so for total N vehicles the total length is calculated by AC plus N minus 1 into CD that is equal to 5.58 plus N minus 1 into 5 that is nothing but 0.58 plus 5N so how these values are got so using this diagram we can calculate the total length of the parking used if the vehicles are parked at 30 degrees and in the same manner <coughs> we have 45 degree parking so when you look at the first statement as the angle of the parking increases more number of vehicles can be parked okay so if the angle is increases the number of vehicles parked will be increased so the L value is 3.54 N plus 1.77. So this is the total length of the vehicles parked at 45 degrees. So when compared to 30 degrees, more number of parking can be allotted in 45 degrees parking. And next comes the 60 degree parking. The vehicles are parked at 60 degrees and when compared to 30 and 45 degrees, more number of vehicles can be allotted here and the length per n vehicles is 2.89 plus 2.16 so this is the formula for that next comes the right angle parking so in the right angle parking it is also called as 90 degree parking the vehicles are parked perpendicular to the direction of the road so this arrangement causes obstruction to the road traffic particularly if the road width is less and we have the formula as L is equal to 2.5 into N. So when we observe that in the first type of parking it was 
parallel parking that is 0 degrees you can say next comes the 30 degrees and next 45 next 60 and at last in on street parking that it is a right angled parking so as the angle is increasing the number of vehicles parked are allotted for a fixed length will be increased and next comes off street park so this is a type of parking where government agencies are not involved so this is a type of parking where in the cellars or in the multi story building there will be a multi story parking and also underground cellar parking different levels of cellars will be there for uh, very complexes and parking in apartments complex and other public places comes under off street parking public places here means it is something like a complex apartment or a cinema theater something like that so that is called as off street parking so in the name itself we have off street means it is away from the street so this is uh, regarding the uh, different types of the parking and if student is asked to have the study of that so he need to look after how many vehicles are parked in which fashion and we have few more parking studies that will be covered under other, other experiments and this is a small uh, experiment we can say or a study so let's watch the typical examples of parking in our institution how the vehicles are parked this is not 100% apt but just for our reference I am showing you this video please watch this video we can say that three are parked in 90 degrees three vehicles and this we can say they are parked at parallel parking or van and a car and this is also we can observe that four vehicles are in a straight line and they are is what regarding the parking studies so in the next videos let us have a deeper study in regarding the parking we can we can do some surveys so that parking surveys also comes under parking studies so let me explain that in the coming videos thank you very much